Well, hello, everybody. It's been a while since I've posted up anything. Uh, I've been uh, somewhat under the weather. Uh, almost lost my voice. Had to do a whole bunch of, like, chloroseptic spray and cough drops and Drinking a lot of tea, and, you know, and it's, it's almost 100%. I still got a, uh, <clears throat> that, but at least, at least I'm able to speak. Uh, before, I could hardly, hardly talk or anything like that. I don't know if you guys can hear it with uh, all the uh, uh, vehicles, but the church bells just rang. That's one thing nice about being in this area, that you can hear the church bells. It has a calming effect. Well, it does on me. I don't know if it does on anybody else, but it does on me. Um, sorry, this thing keeps on going in and out like this, but you know, I don't have a selfie stick or anything to hold the thing up to where I could, you know... I'm doing it with my hands. Um, my mom had back surgery. She's doing good, though. She's in rehab now. Uh, she should be there for a couple weeks. Uh, she's been there before for her, for other stuff that she needed rehab. So she's familiar with uh, people and with the uh, facility and stuff. So that's good. Makes her feel, you know, comfortable. And that's a good thing. I haven't been watching much of the thing of the Mueller report because they're just rehashing the stuff that they've already known. Okay. Did he try to block some of the stuff? Yeah, he tried to. Did he have the right to? Yes. And that's what they're trying to say, you know, is that, hey, he had the right to to, uh, to stop this section and stop this section because it, it probably wasn't going towards him. It's probably going towards somebody else, and he didn't want them to get dragged into it, maybe. I'm just, you know, projecting my thoughts out on that one. Because they're not letting us know what he was stopping. So we have to make up our own ideas of what it could be. But they spent millions and millions of dollars on trying to stop this man. Nothing. Get over it. Like the, like the old saying goes, here's a fence. Get over it. And that's what they need to start doing is get over it. Okay. 
Now, we got the economy that's booming. We got the housing market that's going up. We've got unemployment going down. And yet, these people are like, oh, that's because of the stuff that Obama was doing before. Hell no. Obama wasn't the one that was, that was calling up CEOs of companies saying, hey, come on back. We've dropped corporate tax rate. Because we were almost becoming a socialist country. Taxing the businesses like you wouldn't believe. That's why they were going to Mexico. That's why they were going to China. That's why they were going to India. That's why they were going to Pakistan. That's why they were going to all these other countries. And having the bare minimum of workers in the United States so they can sell their stuff here. I mean, I keep seeing all over the place that this place is hiring. This place is hiring. This place is hiring. Now, are they your ideal jobs that you want? Probably not. But, I tell you something. It's better to get a paycheck than to not get a paycheck. So if it's been a while since you've been out in the you know in the market looking for a job and that you get one, yeah. So what if your job's at Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's or Walmart? Every job out there has a place that you can advance. You want to make more money? See how you can advance in your job. They already know your work, Becca. Ethic. do that because if you keep bouncing around from job to job to job they're going to look at that and say this person is not reliable now if you took a job to start making more money that, that's something different But if you end up quitting one place and you've got months of you not working and then you end up working at a place that was somewhat like the other place that you were working at and making the same amount of money, they're going to start looking at that. Now me, did I have hard times? Yes, I did. I worked through temp services. I did whatever job that I could find. And sometimes it took a while for me to find a job. Because I had limited options because of me not, not able to drive and stuff.
But I was out there and I was trying my damnedest. And that's what pisses me off. You see all these able-bodied people. They're saying that they can't find work. Look in the want ads, man. Just walk up to a place. Say, hey, I would like to know if you guys are doing any hiring. They may say no at that moment, but ask them for an application. Put that application in. And you know what? A month or two down the road, they got to remember, hey, wasn't this the cat that walked in? Asking if we were Hiring? Yeah, we're needing 10 people right now. Let's see if he still needs something. I've had that happen. Well, <laughs> wow, I just went from one place to the other. So this is Lurch. Peace. I'm out of here. May the good Lord bless and keep you always. God bless President Trump and God bless the United States of America.